was brought down to South Africa to perform. It's a journey, it's me and my family, it's, it's the people I love, it's game reserve, it's safari, it's a concert in Durban, it's a concert in Johannesburg, it's screaming fans, it's, it's moment after moment after moment after moment of my life. SA, I'm here, baby. This is the diary of me, Trey Song. August 22nd, 2011. We touched down. I wasn't expecting it, but there were some fans there, man. And they showed me so much love. And I was trying to stay and take pictures and, you know, uh, the, the uh, South African security, like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. That's surreal to me, way out here, to just receive that amount of love instantly. I touched him, he took a picture, I saw Trey, I saw freaking Trey Trey. From there, uh, we drove here and just looking at, I remember just looking all around and actually taking my camera, hanging out the window and taking pictures. But it was more so the experience of coming so far to uh, the motherland with my family, with my mother, with, with my younger brother, and you know, that's how we kicked it off. I want the money, money in the cars, cars in the clothes. August 23rd, 2011. Everybody from my, my bodyguards to my assistant to my manager, everybody was just very excited about this, this journey to South Africa and we all doing it together. Since I was here, I wanted to put the work in and, and get the word out and let people know what the show was gonna be, let people know how excited I was to be here. So we arranged a press conference. Well, I'd like to say thank you all for the welcome. I'd like to say that I'm very pleased to be here. I was only supposed to be here for, how, how long, like two days? Two days, yeah. And I told him, I said, look, I, I'm going to South Africa. I gotta be there for like at least a week. I, I've heard it's one of the most beautiful places from, from him that he's ever been, and he's been all around the world, so. It's a blessing to be here and to see it with my own eyes. Uh, when I tell you it's uh, unexpected thing after unexpected thing, just because you don't you don't know what to expect when you when you go somewhere you've never been. After the press conference, we actually did uh, two television shows that went really well. Probably a uh, twenty minute interview apiece. Zanzi, I think I might be the envy of every South African woman right now. Next to me, I'm sitting with the tantalizing. Yeah, and uh, after the television shows, he had a luncheon that was, uh, it was very nice actually, it overlooked the city, it was uh, a lot of great people there, introduced myself to everybody, took as many pictures as I could, and spread the love around the room and just once again let people know how excited I was about being here in South Africa. Hello. Hey, what's up? That's a nice blazer, man. You trying to outdress me here. I can't have that. I can't have that happen. Hello, how are you? It's nice. Hey. How you doing, baby? I'm very good. And, you know, me and my brother, we tripped out. We took some pictures on, on the balcony. And uh, that was cool. He had a little photo shoot. I took probably about 30 pictures of him. Looking cool. Swaggy. You know what I mean? But, Family comes before anything with me. We make the most of every moment we have. Our bond kind of has to remain so strong that nothing can break it. Uh, people would want to be involved in that, you know? So if we out on the balcony taking pictures and, and uh, we kicking it on our own, and you know, he knows I'm at work. You know, people gonna come take pictures. People gonna want pictures of me. People gonna want pictures of him now. He young, he handsome. You know, and you know, he kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> then we went to the radio station. So that's the brace yourself. Joe Berg, Jeremy, Kid Tom, Nell Spade, Pulukwani. It is official. Trey Songz in the building. SA, I'm here, baby. I'm good, baby. What's up with you? Hey, man, hard work, dedication. Get you anywhere in life. Well, it's going to be the time of my life, and I hope you take away a great experience from it as well. Never been so excited about shows since, uh, well, touring with Jay-Z. Tashia, welcome to the touchdown hot. Hi, how are you? Oh, man, fans. 
it's exciting to me, you know. Sometimes it could get a little dangerous. It can be a crazy situation sometimes, but, you know, it makes them smile. It makes them scream. It gives them a moment that they love, that they will take and they will talk about. And I try to, whatever I can do to make that moment better, if it's, if it's not a way I can take pictures, I want to touch the glass. I want you to put your hand up to the glass and feel my hand. If it's, if it's not a way that I can, I can hug you, I want to touch your hand as I'm walking past. And that's my security hate when I do that. <laughs> I do it for them, man. So, so if they are excited about me, if they are filled with love and just joy and going crazy just because I'm there, just because I'm walking, that's a wow moment, like every time, you know, every time. A day like this, you know, it just, it just reminds me, you know, think back to the BP3 tour, Jay-Z probably did the hardest work I've ever done in my life. Well, Jay-Z and Kevin Lyles uh, have uh, both had impacts on, on my life personally which is definitely one of the reasons. Uh, Jay-Z musically, before I even met him, Kevin Lyles was running the company I was signed to. Although he wasn't hands-on with my project, he always made sure I was taken care of and always had a special interest in myself. You know, I'm never scared of work because uh, without work, there's nothing, it, nothing comes. And you know, it's my first time here. I want to make sure that every void is filled or every question is answered or every thought pondered is uh is given a response by me i would rather be nowhere else right now and this is going to be an amazing moment for myself as well as you my fans i'm gonna, I'm gonna take that moment august 25th 2011 about to get on the biggest ball that is here now we have to be quiet we have to stand back. This is crazy. You ever rode an elephant, man? Yeah. Let's go. Wild elephants. This, you hopping on the back of it. It was uncomfortable, too. It was cool as hell. What's up? <laughs> My man here, he told me everything I need to know about elephants. The real king of the jungle. And I, 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 he told me about the mice theory as well. Uh, it's because they can hear them, but they can't see them. That's why they, that people say uh, elephants are scared of mice. They're not really scared, they just can't hear it. <laughs> I mean, they can't see it, so they're like, what the f Just looking up and seeing Kev and seeing my mom, my brother, and Forrest's elephant is eating everything along the way. Forrest's elephant one time, man, I was behind his elephant and the elephant was walking. He was literally just dropping loads as it walked, like, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> oh, man, it's like, that's the perfect elephant for Forrest, you know, because he's a wild boy. <laughs> I don't remember my elephant's name. Lumdella. <laughs> Lumdella. Lumdella was a wild boy. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. My guy, thank you. You must sing very good, okay? Uh, <laughs> he said, I must sing very good. <laughs> that was fun, man. Hopping back in my ride. That's what it is. This has been my ride the whole time. Becky, you say what's up to the people? Did you say what's up? What's up? What's this up? This is Rebecca. <laughs> She's been holding us down the whole time. You a little driver. And you see my guy here? He let that thing rip. That's not that's not how it sounds, man. That's not how it sounds. <laughs> I'm right, so we done with the elephants. We'll see what's next, baby. Rebecca, what you got for us? After the elephants, we took a trip through the safari. We went uh, to the to actual endangered species portion of the uh, of the game reserve and you know, we saw we saw a lot of wild stuff. What we see, we saw zebras. We saw uh, we saw some black rhinos. We saw some white rhinos actually while I was on the elephants. We saw buffalo bill, which was actually the the biggest buffalo on on the man. 
and Buffalo Bill won't play, and I won't be really too comfortable being too close to him like that. You know, because I'm the kind of guy to watch National Geographic and be like, y'all dumbass, why you so close? You know, when somebody get bit or something? But we sitting there looking at Buffalo dead in the face while he grinding the hood back. It just don't make sense. We went to lunch after that, I believe, after we uh, did all that. Lunch was cool. Forrest and Kev was having some kind of musical debate. I mean, I'm just saying, you were naming so many ifs. I mean, yeah, of course, Today's it's possible. They're record with that boy. When you're not sure, you don't do it. You know, every time we came back for lunch, man, they would have, like, champagne on top of champagne, on top of wine, on top of wine. We in the middle of the, of the safari, and they trying to get us drunk. But we was cool with it. Um, just a little drinky drink, you know what I mean? So, after lunch, which was cool, we went fishing. Well, we threw some rods out, because I ain't catch nothing. I'll be by your side. May I have some champagne, please? It is beautiful today. Boy, it's hot. I'm in South Africa. I'm on the dam. I just saw some hippos. And life is great. Boys ain't catch nothing. Shut up, man. But Kev caught a couple guppies. Just like I catch an artist, I'm going to catch a fish. <laughs> he said he caught three, but I'm not giving him credit for that. Guys, y'all got that? Y'all got that? Listen, by the way, that's only a little thing. I'm going for the big point stuff right now. South Africa 2011, act like you know. I'm, I'm two of two. Got it! Got it! Got it! It's a rock. Uh, that was fun. Why y'all leaving the old man? Oh yeah, I forgot you fell last time. Come on. After doing a little fishing, we, we got on the helicopter. Came back to Joburg. Ah! <laughs> you act like you ain't never been nowhere. <laughs> I would say it's imperative to my sanity that I get moments like these. You know, me and my mother, my brother, just experiencing something new for the first time together. And to be able to share the moments that we did, just us. It's just us laughing, just the conversations we had. Uh, whether it's about the deepest subject matter in the world or it's about, you know, elephant done. <laughs> you know, those moments are so appreciated and so heavily valued because they're so few and far between. Five, six songs in, it was telling me to take my clothes off. <laughs> I think my fans think I'm some kind of stripper or something.